Hey there, it's Mindy, and today I'm showing you how I made this upholstered headboard using my jigsaw. So for this project, I started with some 1x6 pine boards. These I'm recycling. We took them down from our bedroom ceiling. They were up there as like a faux beam, so this is how they were. They were pretty long, so I cut them down to size with my miter saw, and I made this curve on the end here with my jigsaw. So the first cut I did, I just measured from one end and then three inches in from the top. Then I just used a plate to create this rounded end here and I cut that out with my jigsaw. But for the rest of the boards, I'm just taking the last one and just tracing that out, then cutting along the line. So I'll show you um, this last cut that I'm going to do. So I initially cut them longer than I needed to, but what I've been doing is after I cut the curve on uh, the piece that's going to be under it, you'll see when it comes together, I'm just lining up the, the end of the curve and then laying this board on top. And just tracing it out with the sharpie. So you'll see here the start of this curve ends right at the end of this one. So here is my curve all drawn out. I did a little makeshift cutting area here. <laughs> this is clamped to a step stool because it's been pretty nasty outside and I can't cut outside so I'm just gonna cut that out with my jigsaw. I'm not using orbital mode. I have a um, just a general wood um, blade and I'm doing this on medium speed. For this last board that's going to be the top piece of my headboard, I wanted it to curve all the way over. So what I did is I just tacked in some um, push pins, the end where the end of the board will be, and at the center. And then I just used this yardstick that's uh, flexible so that I could draw that curve there and I did that for one side and then the other and I'll cut out that whole curve with my jigsaw once again. Here is how that curved top piece looks after I cut it and sanded it. I wanted this headboard to be upholstered, so I'm actually using this uh, foam mattress topper in place of just standard upholstery foam. This is much cheaper. It's gonna go much further than buying the other stuff. So you can see it's bumpy, but on the other side, it'll be flat. So I'll just put the bumpy side down onto the wood. I'm 
also going to cut some batting to go over the foam. And this is the fabric. This is a velvet stretch fabric that I'm going to cover the headboard with. So I went ahead and cut everything to size, the foam, batting, and the fabric. And I'm just going to tack it on there with my staple gun. So my final step for the headboard is to attach these boards here to the back to use as support and legs for the headboard. And I'm just going to attach those using wood screws. Here is the final look of my upholstered headboard and I just love the pop of color that it gives our bedroom. This is a king size bed so I will leave the measurements in the description box if you're interested. Leave your thoughts and any questions in the comments and as always thanks for watching! Ooh.